Next, straightforward reviews. Today we're diving into the world of RAM to help you choose the best option for your gaming PC. We'll cover everything from understanding latency and CAS latencies to memory frequency in MHZ. But before we begin, let me clarify that this guide focuses specifically on gaming RAM, not RAM for content creators. Now let's get started. First, let's address some common misconceptions. While it's true that faster RAM speeds generally result in better performance, there are trade-offs to consider, especially when aiming for a large RAM capacity. For most common RAM speeds, you can find a good balance between capacity and speed. However, if you're looking for a high-speed RAM kit with a large capacity, such as 64 GB at 3600 MHz, it becomes challenging to achieve. This combination requires significant system resources and often involves sacrifices in other areas. So why is this the case? Let's find out. Now let's debunk the misconception that a larger RAM capacity automatically translates to a faster system. This belief originated when computers had smaller RAM capacities and operating systems and applications consumed a larger proportion of the available RAM, slowing down the system. However, with modern hardware and operating systems, machines typically come equipped with 8 or 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is usually sufficient for smooth operation. Increasing RAM capacity only enhances system speed if the current capacity is fully utilized. So if you're buying or building a PC, remember that adding more RAM will only boost performance if your system is using all the installed RAM. This knowledge can help you allocate your budget more wisely for other performance-enhancing components. When choosing RAM, there are two key specifications to pay attention to besides capacity. Memory frequency, MHZ, and CAS latencies, CL. These specifications provide a good indication of RAM performance. As a general rule, remember that higher speed and lower CL result in better overall performance. So if you've saved money by opting for a smaller RAM kit, consider investing in the highest performing RAM available. However, before you make your decision, let's explore the drawbacks of hyperfast memory and whether all high-speed RAM kits are worth the investment. The short answer is yes, but it depends on a few factors. Your specific workload determines whether RAM speed will make a noticeable difference. CPU-intensive applications benefit from faster RAM, while home users generally don't need to prioritize RAM speed. Gamers fall somewhere in between, and their choice of CPU, whether Intel or AMD, plays a significant role. Intel CPUs are not heavily reliant on RAM performance, which explains why RAM speed support historically remained limited outside of Intel's enthusiast chipsets, Z-series, usually capped at 2,666 MHZ. If you own an Intel CPU, we recommend investing in a good quality RAM kit, but the speed of the RAM is less critical. Instead, you can allocate your budget to other components or consider a RAM capacity upgrade if needed. In contrast, AMD's more recent Zen line of CPUs benefits greatly from RAM speed. AMD's Infinity Fabric technology leverages RAM speed to pass information across different sections of the CPU, resulting in improved CPU performance, especially in demanding applications. Keep in mind that the FCLK speed and the ratio between FCLK and RAM play a role as well, but we won't delve into that in this video. In summary, high-performance 3600 MHZ memory kits are ideal for AMD Risen CPUs. Now let's touch on the topic of RAM overclocking. The classification of RAM overclocking is usually set by your motherboard. You might notice that the speed of your average gaming RAM, for example 3200 MHZ, is marked with an OC overclocked sign in your motherboard specifications. Activating the XMP or DSCOP memory profile in your BIOS loads a preset bank of settings specifically tailored to your RAM, matching its advertised speed and CL. This allows you to run your RAM above the factory specifications. However, overclocking any component above factory settings carries the risk of system instability or boot failures. The more you push your system, the greater the likelihood of instability. Therefore, it's crucial to take a measured approach to memory and consider your choice of motherboard and CPU rather than simply aiming for the fastest RAM kit available. 
Just as you wouldn't pair a budget motherboard with an overclockable CPU, you should be cautious when selecting RAM. Many manufacturers list specific RAM kits as verified for their products, indicating full support for the kit at its advertised speed and CAS latency. Whenever possible, it's recommended to purchase RAM listed on your motherboard's qualified vendor list, QVL, for optimal compatibility, although exact kit availability can be limited. Understanding that high-speed RAM operates in an overclocked state, it becomes clear why you need to choose between speed and capacity. Both RAM speed and capacity add stress to an overclocked system. However, larger RAM kits with fewer modules can help alleviate some of this stress. By compressing the capacity into a lower number of modules, these larger kits increase the chances of system stability during operation. Keep in mind that this isn't a guaranteed solution, but it can make a difference in successfully booting your system. To strike the right balance, consider the interplay between speed, CAS latency, module size, and module quantity when making your RAM purchase. For example, 16 GB of 3600 MHz CL16 memory is more likely to be stable than 32 GB of the same modules, even with the same BIOS settings. Similarly, you might want to run 64 GB of RAM at 3600 MHz, but you may need to lower the speed to 3000 MHz to achieve stability. If you're seeking the best of both worlds, you can opt for a high-end motherboard that features a robust power delivery design and a thicker PCB. These features help supply cleaner voltage to the RAM and restore stability when applying a RAM overclock. While motherboards in this class typically exceed the $400 mark, it's worth researching to find options that fit your budget. In conclusion, as a gamer, you should prioritize the CL and MHZ values of the RAM over large capacity. If you come across a 16 GB RAM kit with CL14 and speeds around 4000 MHZ, it's a great choice. However, you can also find the same specifications for 32 GB, although it will come at a higher price point. While some games are less dependent on latency and more on RAM capacity, in general high-speed, low-latency RAM will serve you well as a gamer. Please share your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below. If you found this guide helpful, remember to like this video and check out our other content. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching until the end. Take care and bye-bye.